have those early morning leads at 5 to 2 shift or just 6 to 3 shift. I was working and it was all about quick stuff. So it was always like bologna and cheese sandwiches, potato chips, apple juice, and those roll up things, you know. And But you like chicken nuggets and ranch strips, you know, ketchup. And then coming home after a day of work and coming home and seeing everybody, it was quicker and easier. Sometimes we, we would even go out to eat more often than we ever did because I was tired. I had a thyroid deficiency, didn't know it. Okay, so here she is. She's 41 years old. She has an 8-year-old son. Just surviving kind of took over. Well, your dad and I would get into it about your weight. He didn't want me feeding you all the stuff that I gave you. I would always defend that you were just going through a phase and um, that you weren't really chunky because I always felt very appealing protecting you all the time. But no, I was always in denial about it because you were my little boy and I didn't think that, you know, you really were unhealthy. I knew that you were heavier than you should have been. You were a lot heavier than I was at, at that age. And I saw you struggle uh, with keeping up with other kids. I wanted my children to be healthy. I, I don't know, she was so protective. I, there was not much I could do at times. There were a lot of things that in mom's health that she did have these things going on that she, I don't think she understood how they were affecting her and us as a family. And I didn't either. I watched you whoop down and plate the pasta with butter, and I tell you what. <laughs> that was your favorite. <laughs> and I would say, no, you can't have the second plate. And, uh, you know, your mother was standing up for you every inch of the way. There was just a different uh, philosophy, I guess, in what we were doing. I would have hoped that mom and I would have been closer to the same page in time on raising our children. we were dating it's always been him sort of looking up and down the menu and saying oh that's great but is it good for me oh I shouldn't eat that all those things that I've never been good about doing myself he's never been crazy about it but it's always there it's always in the back of his mind the first time we started grocery shopping together he would take down two of the same thing so you know two cans of spaghetti sauce and start looking at the nutrition facts on one and then look at the nutrition facts on the other and then based on that data that he gathered choose one and I was more like a weirdo that one's on sale so that's the one we're getting his sister is constantly threatening to show me these pictures she calls him his fat kid pic and she pinches his cheeks and says oh it's chunky Andrew and I really I just I can't even picture that 